That's drunk. To this day, I am a huge, huge fan of Beavis and Butthead, and pretty much anything made by Mike Judge for that matter. I've seen every episode of Beavis and Butthead at least a couple times, even the super rough early episodes that look like they were slapped together in like 20 minutes. It's one of my favorite TV shows of all time because it brilliantly toes the line between stupid and clever while providing some sharp social commentary. Plus, there simply weren't any other shows quite like it at the time. I was completely addicted. I had a videotape filled with episodes I recorded. I saw the movie like four times, I had books, I had shirts, but what I did not have were video games, and that's mostly because the Beavis and Butthead game for Super Nintendo is kinda underwhelming. It's not that bad, it just doesn't live up to the lofty standards that I have for the show. But on its own, I do have to admit it's a perfectly okay co-op platformer. It's got its flaws for sure, but it's still okay. The game starts with Beavis and Butthead watching TV, of course, and they see a commercial for a Guar concert, and I love the choice of the band Guar here. You don't even need to know anything about the band itself, it's just a cool name of a band that just sounds like something Beavis and Butthead would be into. And if I can shamelessly brag for a second, I was lucky enough to see Guar live when I was 17, and it was awesome. So Beavis and Butthead are totally right to be fired up about this. So they decide that the way to get tickets is to photograph themselves around town doing cool things, thinking that the band will see how cool they are and let them in for free. After that, you've got a choice between four levels you can play through, Highland High School, a hospital, wandering the streets of the town, and the mall, with a bonus couch fishing stage at the end of each level to replenish your health. It's typical platforming controls here, B jumps, Y attacks with several different weapons you can collect, the X button runs, and the A button allows Beavis and Butta to do a leg throw maneuver, which is kinda cool. You get 5 lives, but no continues, and here's the game's first major flaw. There is a password system here, but on a game over, you have to enter the password yourself. The game doesn't save it. That is so friggin' annoying. Also, the levels here are really, really long. They drag on forever, and while there may be some checkpoints here and there, and you may be able to switch between the two characters with the select button, they both share a life bar, even in two-player co-op. Ugh, that sucks. You also run into some unfair difficulty as well. Stuff appears on screen so quickly that you barely have enough time to react. Do I jump, or duck, or attack, or what? You've got about a tenth of a second to decide. The boss battles at least provide some variety, like this one against Todd and Earl here. And speaking of variety, one really nice touch this game adds is in the mall setting, where you can visit an arcade and play some arcade games. There's a one-on-one -on -one fighting game and an Atari combat clone. Yeah, they're nothing special, but I appreciate that they're there. But yeah, you can find quarters here and there that you can use for for games or to replenish health at vending machines. Gotta get those sour cream and salsa pork rinds. One thing I gotta point out is the look of this game. The settings and backgrounds look pretty accurate, but there's something off about how Beavis and Butthead look. That might just be me because I've spent so many hours watching the show, but they both just look off. The title screen looks dead on, but during gameplay and cutscenes, they definitely don't look right. Thankfully, the sound is pretty good, the voices sound okay, and the laughs are spot on. But yeah, even in the Genesis edition of the game, both Beavis and Butthead don't totally look like themselves. They got the other characters right, like Mr. Anderson or Mr. Van Driesen, but Beavis and Butthead themselves just look weird. In this game, Beavis and Butthead pay for tickets to a Guar concert, but they're eaten by a dog, puked up, and shredded by a lawnmower, so you gotta go around town collecting the ticket pieces. It's almost like a point-and-click adventure style game combined with typical platforming stuff, only you're collecting items before you gotta figure out what they're used for. The word that comes to mind with this game is unintuitive, the format is unintuitive, the user interface is unintuitive, it's just a complete mess. And plus, this kind of game just doesn't fit the source material. You also only get one life and it's game over, even in two-player co-op. If one player dies, that's game over for both of you. Plus, that same password flaw from the Super Nintendo game is here, ugh. So yeah, Beavis and Butthead for Super Nintendo may not be a masterpiece, but it's better than the Genesis game, and it's a perfectly okay playthrough with two players. Although bear in mind, the game can be a bit of a slog with such long levels, and the difficulty can get brutal at times. Still, the platforming controls are solid, the different weapons are convenient and useful, the settings look straight from the show, and the boss fights are fun. No, it's not the most accurate representation of the show, but really, it's close enough. It does at least look, sound, and feel a bit like an episode of Beavis and Butthead, even if the two main characters look kinda weird. There's lots of little touches this game gets right, like the arcade games I mentioned, or the sprite animations here when you run, or when you stand here doing nothing. That stuff is cool, and I like how Todd keeps showing up, even in the hospital on a wheelchair. This is a game where playing by yourself, it might suck, but playing with the second player, uh, that might be pretty cool.
All right, I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.